Capelo, the venue for this reserve match between Celtic and Falkirk. The home of Morton, of course, the home of Celtic reserves. Another chance, perhaps, for Celtic. Bio there making his first competitive start for a Celtic side. A great chance there for Mark Hill. Close to the opening goal for Celtic. Bio involved in the build up. And Mark Hill with the shot. A nice ball played to the far side. Here's Daniel Church. First time cross from Church. Bio with the volley and well punched away by the goalkeeper. Great effort there. Lovely cross from Church. And the left foot volley from Bio. Here come Falkirk. It's O'Hara in some space on the left hand side. The cross comes in. There's Lavery on the turn and on the left foot. Slots the ball past Doris De Vries into the net. The opening goal for Falkirk. It was O'Hara with the cross and it was a good first touch there from Lavery and a very accomplished finish. Here's Wallace Duffy, bringing the ball well out of defence. Here's Caffrey back to Duffy. Oh, that's a, a nasty one into the back of the legs there of Duffy from Robson, I think it is, from Falkirk. Yes, the referee perhaps letting him off there with a yellow card and Wallace Duffy will play no further part in this one. On to replace him will come Jack Aitchison, always a goal threat. This young Jack, the youngest ever player to score for Celtic's first team, of course. Will come Celtic. Here's McEnroy. The surging run. Chance there for Aitchison. And he was just falling back as he hit that one there. And it goes way over the top. It was McEnroy. Another one of his signature runs. McEnroy through on goal. It's saved. Chance though for Aitchison for the equaliser just before half time. And the substitute, Jack Aitchison, pulls Celtic level. Good build up play from McEnroy. And Aitchison applied the finish. from McEnroy to Okoflex, he's played through, Aitchison, what a chance, through on goal, and it's just past the post, he can't believe he's missed, beautifully played in by Armstrong, Okoflex, and a great chance there for Jack Aitchison's second, quickly taking corner, here's Okoflex, he looks up, he goes for the corner, and he's found the back of the net, Celtic are ahead, and it's Armstrong, Okoflex, Well, Celtic have high hopes for this youngster, and you can see why with that finish. The short corner was taken, and Okoflex just looked up and curled it past the goalkeeper inside his left hand post. Here's Bio. Out wide is Okoflex. Coming on the style this afternoon is the Celtic number 11. He's not giving up on that one. Now Aitchison it is as well. Aitchison onto his right foot. And it's a second goal for Jack Aitchison. And a third for Celtic. Inside the hour. And Jack Aitchison makes it 3-1. Inside to Aitchison. Oh, he goes down. What's the referee going to do? He's pointed to the spot. It's a penalty kick to Celtic. Oko flex. Makes no mistake, two for Okoflex, four for Celtic. Great performance from the reserves, having gone a goal down so early on in this game to come back with four goals of their own. Well, got looking for perhaps another consolation goal. The goal, ball's in the back of the net, but the final whistle has gone. Great performance from Tommy McIntyre's men. Tommy, that's another 4-1 victory for you. 4-1 against Partick Thistle last time out. You must be pretty pleased considering losing a goal early on and the reaction the team showed. Yeah, I think great character in the team. The you know probably the goals against the run of play, but you know to stick to their tasks. We created some good opportunities in the first half. We really got the equaliser just before half time, and then you know dominated the second half. So it was a good reaction for the players. But as I say, as a team, I thought they reacted really well. Wallace Duffy took a pretty bad knock in the first half are you able to give us any update on his injury 
Yeah, I've just I've just checked with the medical staff there, so it's not as bad as we first thought. I think there's some ligament damage there, but as I say, it's uh, there's not seem to be any breaks or anything like that, so that's a positive for us as well. Jack Aitchison got two goals today, coming on as a substitute for Wallace Duffy and Armstrong. Okoflex also got two goals today. You must be very pleased with those two's performance. Yeah, well, Jack, first of all, you know, he was always going to get some game time. They'll be away. There's there's quite a number of boys away after today with Scotland. Uh, they'll play Spain on Thursday. So we were, we were conscious of the fact that you know, we wanted to kind of rest Jack and one or two others. But he had to come on a wee bit earlier than we thought. And uh, he came on, his attitude was first class. You know, he gets his two goals. Um, and he, I thought the work rate was excellent. Armstrong, I thought we were down at Sunderland last week and he, he was probably the pick of the group down there. And again, he's just carried it there. So he's getting stronger and stronger, Armstrong. He's started to work more off the ball. He's obviously a talent on the ball. But I, I've got to say, his overall game of the day was excellent. Armstrong, a very, very good performance today and a very special goal. You must be very pleased. And talk us through that goal if you can. Um, it was a good goal. It was actually um, at half time, Scott Allen. Uh, who assisted me in that goal said I should shoot more, cut and shoot because I took on my man a couple of times. So I, we took a quick corner, he laid it off to me. So I was just like, just might as well shoot. And I practiced it in training and came off.